Morning folks, Mary Scott from Wealth with Passion once again. Well, what an exciting day ahead. Uh, but before I start, um, there's a noisy car outside. I just wanted to, to share a little funny thing. I had some feedback that these are not <sighs> AirPods. And so thanks for those that are with me enough to, uh, to have heard what I said. But you know what? I think that really is testament that you don't have to have all the words right and you don't have to be super, super technically inclined as I am proving every day in my business. So today's tip is manage your emotions. Now, this can apply to people that work from home, thinking about working from home, and even if you're out and about and you have a job, J-O-B, you can uh, take some good notes with this one. Manage your emotions. So what I do before I go into the office or when I go into the office is probably better, is I go and I shut the door. This is my workspace. Who am I being today? Who am I presenting? So if you're someone, particularly if you're someone who has emotions that do this, then on the dip days, you're going to be presenting pretty ordinary, aren't you? So you have to manage your emotions because after all, this is your business and your business needs to count for something and you need to count for something. So. What I do is I check myself, I, I, I check my state, if you like, and what I mean by that is, how's my energy? Is it up? Is it high? Um, some people use vibration as another word for energy. So how am I? What am I, you know, what's my energy like? I'm pretty fortunate my energy's up there. I'm sure you've gathered that. However, I still need to check in with myself every day. Who am I being? Who am I wanting to be? And check that I'm being authentic and being myself. Because you get on the phone, just say you've got a, a business like mine where it's most of it, 98% is on the phone, then you want to be presenting in a positive uh, manner and you want to be out there, you know, like excited about the day. I jump out of bed every day excited about what the day is going to bring. And truly, that's seven days a week. And I know some of you go, oh, yeah. But you know, there's lots to look forward to every day. And if you've got a business working from home, you've got heaps to look forward to. You can be autonomous, you can be flexible, you can watch your time management. I've addressed a lot of these issues. I'm up to day seven of my video challenge, seven out of 28 for February. So I hope some of these things have been helpful. And today's big tip, manage your emotions. Now, if you're someone that can't manage your emotions, now what I say when I mean, by that is, if you're not aware, if you're not aware of your emotional state, then start to learn, start to be conscious. Now, what I mean by that is, <coughs> excuse me, start to think about how am I, how do I sound, where's my energy? Just, if you need to sit down and shut your eyes and go through your whole body, that's a cool thing to do. And develop your, your awareness, hello Mary. Good to see you, my goodness, haven't seen you for a long time, right over there in North America, lovely. So I think that it's really important to prepare well for the day. Now, if you're someone that can't manage it, as I was saying, got a little bit distracted talking to my old friend, uh, old in years, Mary, not in age. Uh, I think that you have to participate in good personal development programs and this will help you to be more successful. More importantly, it'll help you to be on a more even keel or excitement at uh, what the day will bring. So there's my tip. I do thank you also, I was about to go. Thank you so much for all your feedback. I'm, I'm really excited that you're getting some value, some good content that you can utilize in your life, your businesses, and uh, stay tuned, be positive, and be awesome.